Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we're going to be talking about why wolves are not very keen on men. As someone who has worked and mixed with wolves and wolf dogs for over 20 years, one thing is apparent. Captive wolves definitely treat biological males different to females, especially human males that have had no contribution to their upbringing and are classified as strangers. This fear can manifest in retreating, growling, and general inability to bring themselves to bond close to a fully adult man. So today I'm going to try to introduce Bosch, a fully intact white wolf, to my son Kai, who is 16 years old. We will see how Bosch reacts to him and see if through certain mannerisms and body language, which I'm going to get Kai to do, if we can encourage Bosch to accept him like he would any woman, or perhaps find out if even a 16 year old boy is still too much man for him. Plus, we will survive fly strike. As for the first time on Animal Watch, we encounter a fluke explosion of thousands of flies whilst filming. Yuck. Stay tuned to find out. Now, dogs are our best friends. That means both women and men. But did you know that wolves and many wolf dogs are not so keen on the male species? Now, if you raise a wolf or wolf dog from a baby and you are a man, you are often okay with the wolf. But if you are a strange man meeting a mature wolf or wolf dog, it is often a very different story. Many captive wolves and wolf dogs are far more fearful of a man than a woman. So why is this? Well, the general consensus is that men give off a strong scent of testosterone. And this can be very threatening to wolves or wolf dogs, especially male wolves. Men are also taller, which is more intimidating than women. They speak with deeper voices than women and often walk and behave with larger, more demonstrative mannerisms than women do. All of this can be quite threatening to the wolf, who, contrary to belief, is a very timid and scared creature. Wolves work well as a pack and use each other as each other's strength. So when you see a captive wolf alone or a pet wolf dog without a pack, he can often run the opposite way when a man approaches. Now, Animal Watch has met the white wolf Bosch before. Bosch is an intact male and a very confident wolf. He lives in the most unbelievable setting in Shropshire, Wolf Watch UK. Remember when we visited last and stayed in cosy luxury wolf lodge and I got to wake to the sound of howls. Well, I was back again at Wolf Watch UK and Bosch is now in his adult prime at three years old. Bosch is cared for by Tony, who struck up his bond with Bosch when he was only one years old, meaning it was easier to cement a bond. Despite this, even Tony struggles in the breeding winter months from November to January, when wolves develop winter wolf syndrome, a slang expression for a rise in testosterone during the breeding winter months for wolves. Tony has told me that Bosch didn't even let him close at times. However, still allowed women close by during this season. Well, Bosch loves me and I love him. We bonded when he first arrived and he feels very happy and safe around me, as you can see here. My son Kai visited Wolf Watch UK many years ago when Maddie the Wolf was very old, almost 19 years of age, and he was about 12. Kai was allowed to walk her under supervision. He has great experience with Czechoslovakian wolf dogs and any other very large dog. Last time I filmed at Wolf Watch UK, Bosch was very fearful to both male cameramen I brought with me especially the very tall drone operator. He hid from him even before he could see him on his scent alone. 
So today we want to see if we can get Bosch to accept my 16 year old son, as despite him being 5 foot 11, he still may not have full testosterone levels yet. Plus he knows how to act around wolves and wolf dogs and is intent on presenting himself as least threatening as possible to Bosch. So everybody, animal watchers, this is my son Kai. He's 16 years old and he absolutely loves wolves. He has great amounts of expertise in Czechoslovakian wolf dogs and wolf dogs, you know, like Ocean, my blue wolf dog. But today we are going to take a look at, at how Bosch, the white wolf here at Wolf Watch UK, is going to react to Kai. Now he's very, very tall and 16 years old because obviously years and years and years ago he met Maddie, the old wolf here, and um, she got on incredibly well with him, but she was 18 at the time and very, very old. But now we want to see if we can get Bosch to accept Kai as he is becoming a man. And common things that can go wrong, Kai, with um, wolves is that they smell the mm. testosterone on men. I know, and it's also just like your, you might be louder in general, your lower pitch voice. Yeah. You've got all of these different things, which like, Females are sort of more subtle and softer in their actions. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how Bosch accepts him just as he is. And we're going to do all the different things that I would advise anyone to do about being very small and being, you know, quiet and non-threatening. Now, Bosch isn't going to hurt him. The worst case scenario is he'll just run away and Kai won't get an interaction. But we're going to try and make sure that he does get an interaction, which will give you guys some education at home on how to behave yourself if you ever get to meet any captive wolves. We walked into the enclosure with Tony, who runs Wolf Watch UK, and I went and sat on my own with Bosch to start with, in order to make him feel at ease. We were struggling as there had been an explosion of horse flies this week, and they were all landing on our faces. It makes you realize how annoying to animals they must be. Anyway, Bosch came and said hi to me, however, did have one eye on Kai, as well as the two wolves in the enclosure next door. We got Kai to sit down next to me. The idea was to make him as least threatening as possible and reward Bosch with treats Bushy. every time he made contact with Kai. Good boy! Kai averted his eyes a lot of the time and made sure to keep his voice high and gentle. He also stooped to make himself shorter, everything which would almost feminize him in the eyes of Bosch. It was very positive and Bosch did come close to Kai and take food. The closest a strange man has got to Bosch, according to Tony. The important thing with wolves is always to let them decide when to approach you. You must never corner or force yourself upon a wolf, as this is the only time they could bite. So help them learn to trust you and reward every forward leap with positivity. This was food and kind words. We went to the water to see if we could get away from the flies and Kai managed to get Bosch to come to him several times. Flat hand to stop nibbled fingers, as when dogs and wolves are scared, they tend to snatch food and run. Bosch was certainly snapping and running, so he wanted to let Kai keep his fingers. Finally, I had a little howl with Bosch to say thank you to him for being so brave. How was that? Well, he's getting better. He actually came up to me. He took the food. You can tell he definitely prefers the food over me. Well, yeah. that's the same of anything, but he's a lot better with you, you know. He's like yeah. coming up to you. So you can do give you, him strokes. You do feel the sort of, that he might be slightly more wary of men than women. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You did all the right stuff. Yeah, okay. I think so at least. So you did as best you could do, and I think your interaction was very good. I'm and an you were expert. very, very lucky. I'm an expert. <laughs> because because Bosch won't say hi to a lot of men. So by changing your body language and mm. also him associating you with me and Tony made him feel a little bit more comfortable. But he's a bit bored today, he's a bit distracted, he's distracted by the wolves over there. Yeah, exactly. And all these flies, which are disgusting. It, um, so I think you got a really good interaction. Mm, it all comes down to the body language, I guess. You can't come stomping in 
standing up, looking big. You've got to get no. down, kneel down, look and, small. And also, yeah. you, you're, you've got good experience with large dogs and wolf dogs, so you also feel confident. Sometimes people give off pheromones of fear almost. And because you're confident, you like him and you love dogs and you're not fearful, you will be giving off the right pheromones anyway to him as best you can anyway. So I think that was great. Yeah, it's well nothing done, really to Kai worry Kai. about. In conclusion, Bosch is the most social wolf I know and treats me like a dog would treat me. He licks my face, plays with me and is very sweet. Equally, he shows distress when he sees or smells strange men. Kai is 16, so perhaps to Bosch, he doesn't yet smell or look like a grown man. However, it took some work to get Bosch comfortable with him. Kai did everything right and made himself smaller, non-threatening, he showered before arriving and used a higher, gentler voice. Still, with all of this, Bosch definitely treated him differently to a woman. However, I think that if Kai was to visit regularly and create a bond with Bosch, he would trust him over time. His first reaction to Kai was very positive, as Tony has seen Bosch completely run away from other men. So he got a very promising first encounter. Tony said, this was a very excellent result. So I think that Kai did everything correct, and this is why the results paid off. Well, as you know, um, Wolf Watch UK relies on contributions to keep going. And they've got this amazing T-shirt right now, which is for sale for £20 plus postage. You can look on their website where you can find out how to buy this amazing T-shirt. You can support them by coming to stay in their lodge, that amazing lodge that I'm staying in right now where you can wake up and hear the wolves howling in the morning. You can find that on their website too. There's an array of other gifts. You can become a member. Lots of other ways that you can send them contributions to help them keep rescuing wolves all over the world. And if you enjoyed this episode, then please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner and tune in to Animal Watch every week where we'll be bringing you more episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now. That's right. <laughs> Remember, if you would like to come and stay at Wolf Lodge, you can find their details here. You too could awaken to the sound of wolves howling. <laughs>